grace of God that has brought us together as community, as one body and soul. We are ready to forgive and let go and live a humble life, a united community that will bring us together so that we may serve God with our whole heart. Community life has taught me that though we are all different, but with the, our own efforts, we can make a great difference together. It's all about being humble, being open and available to what others have to offer, and to also seek one another's help so that together we may realize our common goal, that is to leave Jesus Christ in his mysteries and in the gospel, to reveal and to teach Jesus Christ by our whole life, and to be united as one body. Finally, we come to Sister Rosalind. I would like you to talk about the joys. I am sure there are many of them, the joys of living together, irrespective of our differences. Can you tell us some of them? One of the joys I would like to tell you, my fellow people of God, is despite of our differences in community, our difficulties, we strive to make peace and to live as one family. And the beauty is each sister strives to make peace. You see each one of us struggling so that we can live peacefully together. And which means that each of us, we die to self, we let go and we forgive. And that's the beauty about community life, to be able to live as one family, live peacefully and to forgive because we are bound to hurt each other. And hurting each other means that as one people, we come from different families, we tend to hurt other people, but then we forgive. Wonderful. <laughs> about symbols. I'm quite sure over the years uh, uh, you have thought of a symbol or a symbol has struck you in your life and you want to liken your religious life to that symbol. I'll begin with Sister Josephine. What symbol would you say is a symbol of your religious life? A symbol as a religious sister is a jar that God has filled with water and is living in a community for different sisters to share with one another. Each brings a flower, and with this flower, it makes it beautiful for the world to see the beauty of God. My symbol is a footprint or footprints, and these, I can recognize my own feet in it and the feet of Jesus in the journey. It is Christ who leads me each day into the way that he wants me to serve and to love him. My symbol is well known to you because it's a symbol that is used in every home, which is the calabash. As we all know, the calabash is open, ready to receive anything, whether water or rice, anything that comes by. And it empties itself at the same time. So for me, the, the calabash symbolizes openness, simplicity, and emptying oneself. Because Jesus emptied himself in order for him to receive salvation or to be resurrected from the dead. And so for me, each day as I rise in the morning, I ask God to help me to be like the calabash, to be open to receive the advices of my sisters, the support of my sisters, the people I work with, and the apostolate in which God has given me to proclaim his word. So let's come to the final question. This time round, uh, we're going to talk about encouragement. You know, we all, as sister uh, rightly put it, the advice from other sisters can help us as we live in a community. I'm quite sure that you have sisters behind you. You have now moved to, uh, should we say you are now their great elders. You are no longer going to come to GPI for junior professor meetings. 
they are finished. Mm? But you will need to encourage them. And also encourage many young girls who are out there contemplating, I, w I want to be like these three young ladies who are talking on this television. Sister, what will you say to them? What I will say to my young sisters, that let them never be afraid. God is always with them. Their false focus would be in prayer and never be discouraged on what people see. But let them put their trust in God. It's God who can give you what you want when you put your trust in Him. I would encourage them to continue searching for God who has called them into this life. And it is through their daily search for him that they could savor his sweetness, his love, his peace, and be always ready to say a renewed yes to him, to say that they are ready in spite of all difficulties, of all struggles, to remain faithful to him and to let him be the author and the pastor of their lives. To all young people who are watching this program, I want to tell you, do not be afraid. Because Jesus, when he was saying yes to God, he never asked God, what am I going to meet? What challenges or joys am I supposed to encounter in this journey? No. He said yes, and he went ahead. And any cross, any joy that came by, Jesus embraced it joyfully. So I would like to tell you young people, do not use your parents as an obstacle. Do not use the things of this world as an obstacle. And do not use bad advices as an obstacle. Your own joy lies in your hands. Your own future lies in your hands. So be ready to say yes to God. If ever you feel that you are called to be a priest or to be a reverend sister, God is always there to shepherd you and to guard you towards your full vocation. And I would like to sing this song, listen to the words carefully and reflect upon them. Do not be afraid, I go before you. Jesus loves you and Jesus loves a cheerful giver. So my dear fellow young people, come and offer your life to Christ and Jesus will bless you and your family. Mm -hmm.